Hi everyone. I'm going to work on a craft. Uh, this is a craft that I'm going to put in a arrangement with different crafts. And I just wanted to start with one of the projects. I used burner covers or burner cover. I used this particular one to make this project. And so what I did is I used this paint and this paint and made a color, mixed them, made a very light color to paint the background. These are not waterproof. They do bubble up. So then I used glue. Let me see, where's that glue? Where's my glue? I've moved my things around a lot, organizing, trying to find a much better organization. All right, so I used this glue to cover the paint that I painted here. Then I cut, I, I did a, a free flower arrangement that I found online and cut it out, printed it out, cut it out, and glued it on with this glue and then covered it up with this glue, kind of like Mod Podge. I couldn't get in between uh, the little anchor, uh, very small things with the scissors. I got around this area. So what I did is I just made this, and it's a little darker, I don't know if you can see, than this to try to match it up. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more white in there and I'm gonna do a second coat over that. And, um, if I can't get the color closer. To the color. And this brush is terrible. I guess it's this one that worked better. So I did use, I did try to mix because I forgot how I mixed it before. It's been a while since I actually made this project. So I'll take a little bit of this, stick in here, because I'm gonna put more white in here. And of course, I'm using tops from water jugs. So I'm going to put that down there. Yeah, it's still a little dark. A little darker. So it's just a really light color. There's a lot of yellow in this orange. So I wanted it to be yellow very light yellow when I created this. <coughs> Let me try it on there. It's a little dark and of course paint when you first mix it is a little dark. It's lighter. So I do have other videos. Um, that tell you some experiences with my altnaturalhealth.com. If you're interested in holistic and better health, my experience is you eat healthy, you exercise, you take care of yourself, and you have a much better life. I used to be a very sick person sick when I was young and I got tired of being sick and decided to go 
very strict with my diet and fasting and it was miserable going through it was not pleasant but when I got to the other side I've got a life that I didn't even th think that I could have free of many illnesses I'm in my 50s And there's things that I can do that a lot of 50-year-olds can't because they're so sick. High blood pressure, diabetes. Diet matters. Even if you can't get herbs, Herbs are just food. It is part of the diet. But if you can't get them and you can't go pick them and you can't grow them, just eat the best food you can eat. Doing something's better than doing nothing. But doing Drastic things sometimes to improve your health can make all the difference in the world when you're really bad off. Now you see there's white right here. That's what the areas I was painting used to be before this color fill in and I'm just gonna fill those in. I miss those. They're so tiny. So. Anyway, I'm gonna let that dry. So I filled in the white specks that I couldn't cut out. And then you have that. And this, actually, let me show you. Looks really nice. This came from the Dollar Tree. It's a stand. And so you can put it on a stand. You could decorate it the outer limits. I kinda like uh, the plainness of it and the simplicity, um, just being on a stand, just to highlight and cause the florals to stand out. Now, the next thing I'm going to work on is I am going to just do something with the inside of this because you can see it's a so I have to wait till that dries. So, I'm going to set it up over here. And this is my, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's a tile, it's wood. I've used this uh, on some decorations on my porch that I will show you at a later date. Um, I'll show you different crafts that's on my porch and then show you the full package of what it looks like. So I'm gonna take that off. And this is a little sticky thing here that you can stick it to wherever. But, I'm going to take this extra one, and I am going to cut this out by marking this. I am going to So, I'm going to go a little, leave a little outwards. Just so, because this, as you can see, this kind of fans out wider at, around here, opposed to here. So I want it to fill in into the crevices. So I'm just going to cut around it just a little wider. And if I've got to trim it, that's okay. I can take some off, but I can't put some back on. I'd have to start all over. So. Cut this off. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but my grandson is singing. 
He doesn't know I'm on camera. So when you do that, you end up with the sticky coming off because there's a layer. And so I keep the sticky because I never know what I'm going to have to use that sticky for. So the idea is to put this inside there. Now see, like I thought, it might be a little too big. So I need to trim some off. So I'll go around and follow my circle and just trim a little off around there. Do a little at a time because I kind of want to get in there just right. Of course, I'm going to cover up edges. I'm going to check this out. So, let's see. I'm kind of playing around to see how much more I need to take off. Kind of an eyeball thing so a little more because if you take a little more all the way around there hey andrew you might want to tell brayden everybody's hearing his singing just in case he doesn't want to be heard okay look at there we're fitting a little better. A little better. Look at that. Okay, so I'm a little short on here. Let's see if that has to do with. So I need to take a little off these edges here. Okay, so you see how that fits in there? All right. I don't know what this is going to do since it's not dry. I think I'm going to use this plastic. Okay. So what I'm going to do is my glue gun's been leaking. Come here with some glue. Round. All right. And then I'm going to put that inside of there. Well, if you don't place it. <laughs> You sure can't move it too good. Okay. And I don't know what's happening down there with my paint job. Let me check on it. To see if this rope would go around there. So I'm thinking something like that. So if you get tired of one, you can switch to a different decor. Um, Let me show you what I did. I, I'll just go on and demonstrate one of the crafts that was on the porch. I was going to put rope around here, but I just want to show you what I did. So I took a brush and I took a little bit of this Waverly White chalk paint. Just a little bit on the edges. 
and then you just kind of brush it through there. Brush it through. And a wet, whitewash it. So just a little bit. I'm lightly brushed it on and then I'm blending it. Pushing a little harder to blend it. There's little grooves in this. I'll go get, I'll just go on and do that rope and then I'll show you. Oh, look, I got an extra piece. Maybe this will work. Recycle. This is a recycle project. Oh, well that was gonna probably work on its own. So I do take the ends so that I can keep them from fraying and also they're really good to get pushed through small areas. If you tape it up on the end, so. Now, so all I gotta do is start a bead there. Put that right there. Okay. So then I just go along here. I'm having trouble with my gun because I've got the electric behind me. Need to move it. So there we go. I have trouble because I'm trying to work fast. Let's move that out of my way. Okay. Let's see. This didn't stick too good. Let me get that to stick down better. Scrap is going to be perfect. Now that is nice when you get a scrap that comes out just perfect with the project. No planning there. So I really don't know what I'm doing with this in all actuality. So I kind of put a little bit of glue and I rub it in to get those ends from being loose and frayed. I let cool off a little bit and then I mold it with my fingers a little bit. Okay. So, here we go. Just imagine what we could put in there. Hmm. So, this side though. Now that that's dry, I'll show you how to do the, um, I like to use these, I showed that in an earlier video, 
today I thought I'd try to use these and all make purposes of water jug lids so I used that so I pour a little bit of that glue up in there and that's kind of a lot get these brushes from the Dollar Tree I like to use it so I just kind of take this over. I'll just take it over where I painted. This way it makes it so that when it gets wet, it's protected. So. So when that dries, it leaves like little brush strokes. With this brush kind of makes it look like a painting. So then I take and pour my glue back in here. Waste not, want to not. I'll clean that off later. Now this is one of my projects that I worked on in an earlier video. And I loved it, it was so cute. But my porch is so windy and I had a windmill in it and it blew and it broke. And then I thought, well, maybe I can fix that. So that's why it's sitting there. I don't know if I can fix that. I don't know if I wanna fix that, but I may give it a try. Now, one of my projects that I made, and I haven't finished it, but I thought I'd give you a little glance it's a pumpkin out of the lids from the water jug. And here's another pumpkin. I painted it with this terrible paint. It didn't come out so good. I plan on spray painting these, um, but just a quick idea. This was um, a funnel. They come in threes at the Dollar Tree. And so I took the smallest one and glued around the part that goes into whatever you're trying to funnel something in and glued it around and made a, it makes a little stand. Took a little rope, a little greenery. I was just working with an idea. So I'll finish these up, show them to you sometime. Um, I'm, go I'm gonna paint them white. I got some spray jobs I'm gonna do today with some white paint. And so this, I just took a little piece of stick cut it off and glued it to the stick. So I think it's a really good idea to use those uh, lids to your water jugs. And I'm continuing to lose glue here. So give me a second, I'll be back. I'm gonna go to the porch and I'm gonna get one of the projects that I worked on to show you um, what I did. I'm back. So this is one of my projects that I hung on my porch that you'll get to see in the future. There's um, three others um, with a different uh, summer. One's a windmill. Um, so I used the tile you can see uh, you can change it different directions you can go this direction or this direction so I went this direction on this one and then I glued the little flower that it's a little bell that hangs on your porch or wherever you hang it in the summer and I glued it I glued I cut it out just like I did this one 
I used the cutting board to measure. I glued it around the outsides. This one I glued a little at a time to make sure that I got the edges down. And then I glued the little flower on and then I glued a tinier rope around the edges and then a little hanging rope on the back. And you see that's a cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And you see where that's that old tile. And then I made a bow. And like I showed in an earlier video, they're the same size. I did three loops. And with this one, it worked out where I just left a little extra in the inside loop and then a little on the outside loop and got the right size. And then made a little rope loop and added a little jewel to it. So this you'll see later on on my porch when I finish all the projects. Um, it's a big porch, so it's a lot of projects and I want you to see the completed porch. This is gonna be part of a um, little grouping of things that I like and put together. Um, and I'm gonna work on this more to figure out what I wanna to do to it. I could, I have this little pig that I traced from a stencil and cut out that I could paint black and put on there with the bow. I could put farm down here. There's so many things you can do with that. So I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll share that with you another time. I just wanted to share how I put that on so that I could share this project and so I could share this project with the burner. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for your time. Um, if you're interested in finding out about different herbs, go to altnaturalhealth.com. Thanks. Bye.